Hello everybody, my name is Skullkid, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we started off at Hateno Village, and, and we made our way to Kakariko Village, and now we're in Kakariko Village, and it's raining again. And so in this episode, we're going to be going to talk to Impa, which should be up there according to the to the waypoint on the map, but of course first we're in Kakariko Village and there's quite a bit of shops that we can get stuff from and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna start off by putting an apple into this place if we have an apple, and yes of course we have an apple, it's like the most common thing in this game. And let's drop it here. Okay. And there we go, we got a Korok seed. Yaha, yeah, you found me! And there we go! Oh, uh, we only have four Korok seeds, but we did meet Hestu in the other episode also, so that's why. And then, of course, we can collect all those apples. Um, so one thing that I wanted to do, absolutely, um, if I can remember the place... Yeah, this place, uh, the armor shop right here. And Lasli says... We're open, rain or shine, enchanted. Right this, right this way? Oh my, what's this? Look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. Oh wow, Link's just blushing. Oh, and you even have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Wait, huh? A Sheikah slate? Isn't that, like, an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? Eh. I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. Okay, so anyways, this is the armor shop, and we're gonna go right inside. I'm still kind of impressed that there's never really any load times in this game. Oh. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By the by, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Okay. Yeah, so we got all these cool things. We have, like, no rupees. Uh, I was expecting we'd have more because I started playing the game in my uh, personal profile and I'm way further in the game now and uh, when I came here I had uh, lots of money so let's see if we can have stuff to sell and it really appears that we don't have much oh well we do have this ember it gives us 30 rupees I pretty much only sell minerals because um, I don't know if they actually come in handy but we're gonna sell t two opals so that's gonna help um, so I wish we had enough money to buy the Stealth Sheikus, uh set, um, but I guess we don't really have that much money. Um, so yeah, come back anytime. Um, I mean, can we buy anything? We can buy the mask, but that feels like a, not a super efficient... Uh, use of um, the money we have. So what I will do is we're gonna buy the Helion Tunic because, well, we kinda just have to have that, right? Um, so yeah, thanks, take good care of it. And of course this Helion Hood, which is pretty amazing and we saw in the original trailer and I mean it's cool and all. Thanks, you've made a great purchase really. Okay, so that's all we can buy for now. So we're gonna have to, like, remember to buy some armor over here. Uh, why was Link walking so slowly? That's so weird. Maybe it's because we're indoors. Anyways, let's equip this fancy armor. Actually, let's go back inside. Why not? I mean, we have good lighting and everything. It's gonna look cool. Look at that. Okay, so this is our armor. Um, it's still pretty stylish. Our, um, um, what's it called? Warm doublet. And we have these pants and everything, and so now we have this, and we can dye this green if ever we wanted to, and stuff like that. And it looks pretty impressive with the huge broadsword that we have. And here's Epina, 
Um, let's see. I am not sure if there was any more shops I wanted to go to. Like, that's the number one place you have to stop to if you're at Kakariko Village. Um, but I believe... Am I going the right way? Yes, I think I am. There is the village shrine up here, because every village has a shrine, so you can easily teleport to the village. And I missed whatever that was flying in the air, and got two apples, but anyways, we're gonna enter the Talonyag Shrine. Probably pronouncing that horribly. But yeah, so let's enter the shrine, and I can't remember what puzzle's inside here, because I'm ahead now on my personal profile, but hopefully it's fun. What am I saying? They're all fun. Okay, so we've made it into the shrine. As usual, there's quite a bluish tint to the lighting. To who sets foot in this shrine, I am Talonaig, and I offer you this trial or whatever. Talonaig's teaching. Okay, I wonder if the developers of the game know how to pronounce all the shrines properly. So this is a combat shrine, I believe. Uh, no, our inventory is full. That is quite disappointing. Um, shields, yes. Oh yeah, but they're all bad. I mean, the Traveler's shield is cool and all, but this Sheikah shield is also pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, let's see what we have. Um, I'm gonna go with this, uh, sure, let's go with this sword and this shield. And oh, there's something else over there too. So let's go get that. And like, oh, eight, eightfold blade. Okay. Okay, we can actually equip this one. So anyways, what I was saying is some of these shrines in the main quest villages or whatever, part of the main story, they actually try to teach you stuff too, to bring you, make you familiar with more game mechanics, and so that's what it's gonna do. So use side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. And here it's showing you how to side hop and everything. Okay, let's uh, get our stuff out. Okay, so Flurry Rush activated. I'm getting pretty good at this. I've been playing for a while now. Okay, so we got that good. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay, yeah, we know how to backflip. Ah, damn it. I didn't do it properly. Okay, that was some good timing this time. Yeah! Flurry Rush, there we go. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back! Okay, parry at the right time to knock an enemy back. Perfect guard. So we gotta press A for this. Aw, damn it, I was too late. Yeah, we got it! Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion. I, I They go too fast for narrating it. Okay. Ah, dang it. Stop it, you're in the way. Oh yeah, and he has been defeated. And what do we get? Some music. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. And the door has been unlocked, but he has dropped a guardian sword, which is pretty powerful, and it's uh, single-handed. Look at this. It looks so cool. Anyways, uh, I don't want to waste this one. So... So we're gonna get this ancient shaft, and whatever he drops, ancient spring. So yeah, um, as I was saying, I, I went pretty ahead in my personal profile, and also I got pretty good at the game, and 
The last time I recorded Zelda was actually in the first week that the game came out, and now it's like the end of April, so I've really been stretching these episodes too much and was really way too busy. So, anyways, we beat the, um, I forget the name of this shrine because it's really complicated as usual. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruins. In the name of Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And we get... Uh, I don't know how many spirit orbs we have, I believe we had zero. Because we got our heart at the goddess statue in the last episode. So now we got one. May the goddess smile upon you. Wow, that's a nice view. This is like the perfect time of day to come out of the village here. Look at all those mountains, and you can even see the castle over there. But anyways, one more thing I want to do now that I am here is kind of go just off the village right here and look at that. Your, uh, wait, okay. Um, so right here, there is, nope, ignore that, there's a... Bloopy that they call them and oh, he vanished. I was too slow. Anyways when you hit him He gives you rupees But that's not actually what we're here for as cool as the bloopy is there is Some mysterious thing right here with fairies around it and I couldn't catch any fairies You don't need a bottle in this game to catch fairies. You just kind of catch them Anyways, let's see. What is this place? Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure, I am the great fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I am nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. That seems oddly suspicious. In order for me to regain my power, I need 100 rupees. Well, I guess we're gonna give it to her. Why not, right? Thank you. You are too kind. Whoa, okay, so that is a pretty big transformation of uh, some kind of weird flower. Okay, so looks like it's uh, Kot Kotera and the fairy's fountain, as you can guess by the music. So fairies are always kind of weird in Zelda, but they're weird in this game. Oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Ah. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Okay, enhance away. And so we cannot upgrade the basic stuff. We sadly can't upgrade the Switch shirt. But we can upgrade all these fancy pieces of gear. So we're gonna upgrade the trousers, since it's pretty much our only pair, so it's good for like every single set that we have. Ah. Alright, let me do my thing. And we got the Helian Trousers with a star on the side of it. 
because that's how it works, I guess. All finished, just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been enhanced twice could have a bonus? But only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. Do you want me to enhance any of your other clothes? Yes, okay, we're gonna enhance the Helian tunic. Mm. We have everything we need, Bokoblin horns, that's pretty ah. straightforward. Okay. So we're gonna end up um, upgrading the whole set, and so even though it like boosts everything by two, it really ends up being pretty effective, because this set um, originally had, um, what, nine armor points, and now it would have like 15 at the end of um, us upgrading all of these so it's definitely worth using the fairies uh, the fairy fountains in this game but they're I suppose you could say kind of drastically different than in other games and sadly we did not catch a fairy anyways now that our whole set has been upgraded and that literally everything we have has been upgraded um, that's pretty much all we had to do here So now we just have the fairy's fountain right there. Time for a thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna head back to Kakariko Village. See, we can just go off-road because that's kind of the point of Breath of the Wild. Who needs roads, am I right? Okay. So we're back. Kakariko Village awaits us, and Impa awaits us. There's not much I think I want to do here. There's a bunch of more stuff you can do in Kakariko Village, but, I mean, that's kind of all I really wanted. Here there's a cooking pot. Oh, wait, I didn't even know this. This person gives a quest. Today's dinner is veggie cream soup. It's super nourishing and fortifying. Well... That's what they say anyhow, it must be true. All you do is toss a swift carrot, rock salt, and fresh milk in a pot, and stew it up, then voila! So yummy. Oh no! Coco is all out of swift carrots, but Coco promised to make Kotla some hasty veggie cream soup. Okay, I'll bring you some swift carrots, thank you. Thank you so much! Okay, Coco just needs one swift carrot. Just one, and Coco can get cooking. Coco will be waiting for you here. Though, once it gets dark out, Coco will have to head home. Okay, and that's Coco's kitchen. Okay, there's also a little, well, kitchen, I guess you could say, or some terrace. So here there is a carrot symbol, so I'm guessing we can just buy some here. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is actually like just her mom or something. Or her dad? I don't know. I'm not even sure. Okay. How many? Okay. Uh, how much does he have to offer? We can buy 12. Let's buy 6. Because, I mean, we may as well buy some for us. 96 rupees. Whatever. Um, sure, we're going to buy lots of swift carrots. Apparently they're pretty good. I haven't found much use for them so far. Well, I mean, I haven't been cooking much in this game in general. Okay, I've pretty much been sticking to meat skewers and, um... Those, uh, whatever it's called when you combine a hearty truffle with a hearty radish. Anyways, uh, let's give her a swift carrot. Coco prom- okay. Um, yes, yes, yes. Huh? Huh? Coco smells swift carrots! This is for you. Yep. Here you go, Coco. Is that a swift carrot? Thank you so much! So very much! Now Coco can make dinner for Kotla! Yeah! Time to get cooking! And some nice cooking music. Oh, it came out perfect! 
Here, please have some. Coco's treat. Cool, so she pretty much made us some hasty veggie cream soup. So it's like if we bought the carrot and got some free ingredients too. Anyways, Coco wants to try cooking different things, so Coco can be a great chef just like Mother. Okay, so that was Coco's kitchen and we have completed the side quest. So I'm not sure if there's anything we should cook ourselves, um, because we barely have any food. But whatever, maybe I'll do that, like, on the side of a video, like, either at the end or something, or I don't know. And here we have, uh, who, who, what's his name? It doesn't say, but he is painting the house. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna go talk to Impa right here. You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's uh, abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Now, let's just go and see Lady Impa. Oh, who's that? A man? Hmm, is that... It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Li... Li... Hmm... Oh, it's not that I forgot, I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is p p p Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. But pl please, hurry inside. Okay, let's enter. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh. A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you. Well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you, 
When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Okay, so looks like we have learned a bit about Impa. Well, first of all, we have found Impa, and ooh, look at that. There's a nice painting right there. But anyways, guys, we're going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to uh, uncover Zelda's message. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.